Welcome back to On Football. Today's review is going to be on the Nike VaporJet 3.0 football gloves. You saw the unboxing a couple weeks ago, so I'm going to get into the review. Of course, I'm going to cover off on the five things I always talk about with gloves. I'm going to talk about the fitment, I'm going to talk about the grip, the ball feel, the breathability, and the durability. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So as I said before, you guys saw the unboxing a couple weeks ago. We're going to go back and take a quick look at some of the packaging before I get into my thoughts on the glove. So taking a look at this, there's a couple things that were noted about this glove, the VaporJet 3.0s versus the 2.0s and the original VaporJets. First thing is advanced breathability, supernatural fit, talks about lightweight materials and lockdown construction, combat protection, it says that new materials were used to uh, reduce game day damage which means increased durability, and then extra sticky grip. Magnet grip material sticks to the ball better than anything we've ever done, suggesting that there is new magnet grip. So those are some of the details I'm going to talk about when I do the in-depth review of the glove. But first, before we get into those five attributes that I usually talk about, I'm going to give you an overview of this glove, the differences, some of the design, and give you my initial thoughts. So here is the glove in the black, chrome, and Volt colorway. thought it was pretty cool. You can see that the Volt is in the Nike sign. It's also in the uh, finger bends where uh, allows you to bend your finger which is actually kind of this uh, mesh material if you guys can see it. This right here is a synthetic. This right here is kind of this hyperfuse material which is for strength and durability. And then where you have the venting is actually in these black portions just down the middle of the hand. There's no other venting whatsoever besides uh, this tiny bit of mesh, the Volt mesh, in the glove. Here's the front of the glove. Again it's the black chrome and Volt colorway. Something interesting is that the sizing instead of inside the glove is now outside the glove. You can see the extra large. There's still a jock tag inside, although much smaller. But it's kind of angled, just a little update, more modern in the glove. Uh, the Velcro here isn't really like a micro Velcro, so it still catches on some things. Uh, but it's, it's, it still gives you enough lockdown when you put the glove over it, or when you, when you attach it. On the inside, You've also got Nike on this hand. On the other hand, you actually have the Nike symbol. So that's a difference there. I think both gloves before had the same. Um, but overall, that's kind of the glove in a nutshell. So now let's talk about the fit of the glove. This is the third generation of Vapor Jets. And I can tell you that by far, this is the best fitting Vapor Jet um, that I've ever felt. So it's good. They talked about that. They increased the uh, fitment on here and uh, it was. It's a good lockdown feel whether you have these buckled or not. You can of course still flip up the straps, the wrist closures as you know people do. You can still do that and you know show your love for Nike or whatnot. Uh, but they felt really good around my fingertips, around my thumb, um, best fitting vapor jets uh, you know by far. So overall I gave these a 9 out of 10 in terms of fitment. Something else that the packaging talked about was this Magna Grip. So I was expecting for Nike to come back with Super Grip this year. It doesn't look like they're going to do it. Uh, the Magna Grip, they, it, they suggested something new. I did feel like it was a little bit more durable and a little bit better versus uh, previous Magna Grips from the other gloves. So I did give these an 8 out of 10. Um, they were sticky. They, they seemed durable. Um, they, you know, whether it was dusty or not, I still had good grip. Uh, when it was wet, of course, it slipped, but obviously that's uh, all gloves I reviewed. I haven't found them to be good in wet conditions. So uh, kind of the fitment with the grip made for a really great, great glove, and I gave these an 8 out of 10 for grip. So far, this is shaping up to be a really good glove, and what next is about the ball feel. Now, ball feel is really about your flexibility and dexterity with your hands, and really about does it feel like you have a glove on, meaning is it, is it heavy on your hands, uh, how easy is it to close your fingers around the ball. Uh, some of the other gloves I reviewed, you can check them out. Uh, some of them have gotten nines, uh, like the Add a Zero. Um, you know, 3.0 gloves. I think the RevPro 3D gloves have gotten a nine. Um, these actually get a seven. So they're, they're not bad gloves, but it's just that you don't have that same dexterity because the material is a little thicker on the hand. You know, you can still move it, it's fine, uh, but in terms of having that actual flexibility, uh, you do, you do, it is reduced. So that's why they got a seven. Um, again, when you have a glove that has a reduced ball feel, that's really because the materials and it's going to provide some protection around your fingers because it is like you have something over your hand. If you have high, 
you know, a high rating on ball field, you're going to have zero protection. So depending on whether you like that protection or not, as a defensive player, I really prefer protection on my hands. As a receiver, you may, you know, want something with incredible ball field. Uh, nonetheless, these got a 7 out of 10 for ball field. One thing I talked about with the breathability of the glove was that these are the only venting portions right here. Uh, so already my hands are getting kind of warm. It's not something that I, I noticed when I was playing, uh, but definitely when you pull your hand out, your glove's going to be sweaty. Um, you know, hands are going to be warm. It's going to be hot if that bothers you. Um, you know, these may not be the gloves for you. Uh, I think the older Vapor Jets had a lot more venting, uh, but that was the trade-off. You know, they wanted to make these gloves a little more durable, uh, which they are. Uh, but in terms of breathability, I really gave these a seven uh, because they really just have that uh, venting more. You know, down the back of the hand, they have a little bit on the side, so this is more mesh here. Uh, but really, this whole back of hand and the palm. That's where it got a little sweaty. So again, these got a 7 out of 10 for breathability. However, these gloves are more durable for that same reason. And for the durability, they actually got an 8. You can see they're constructed better. I think it's the best constructed Vapor Jets uh, that, I've, that I've had. You know, I've had the originals, I've had the Pro models, and I've had the uh, 2.0s and now the 3.0s. Uh, these are my favorite Vapor Jets by far. They come in a variety of colors. Um, all different ones. You can check them on the Nike site. You can check them on different sports sites. I picked these up from Nike if you're wondering. Um, that's where I got this colorway. They don't look exactly like in the picture, but you can see this chrome uh, and you can see the bolt. Uh, and then this was actually, they said it was like a dark gray. It's more of a black. Um, but I did get these from Nike and they are $50. So they've been increasing price. I think last year they were $52. Uh, back in the day, I remember they were a little bit cheaper, but uh, there you have it. This is Nike's more entry-level glove so far this year. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive than Adidas entry glove, but uh, they're different. So go ahead and check out that Adidas review to know the differences. Hopefully you liked this review and it helped you out. If it did, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.